Gabriel Miranda, I am an hybrid shooter based in Copenhagen. Recently, I have been contacted by Wedio, and they allowed me to try and test a very powerful tool, the Zhiyun Crane M3 Pro. As a guerrilla shooter style that is quite fast and on the go, without compromising the quality of the content, I found out this gimbal is so useful and interesting for the sort of work I used to do. Mostly my work is focused on dance concept films and choreography videos, where locations are set up in the street. This product is mainly focused to carry on phones, action cameras, compact cameras, and smaller mirrors cameras. According to Siyun, the maximum payload capacity is 2.2 kilograms, but personally, I know that it can be a little bit more than usually is written on the paper. So I was pushing it a bit and attached my full frame mirrors camera. Of course, I have used my phone as well for a test, even when I am not an everyday phone shooter. This is the new Crane M3 Pro. This version, the M3 Pro, came with a backpack or carrying case. So inside we have uh, the strap for the backpack, the foam for the microphone, noise reduction. This is kind of clamp for easy release. And this is the stabilizer. Also the tripod, it used to be come with the gimbals from chewing. We have the micro adapter because this version came with a microphone. We have cables for the microphone and also an adapter for the phone. For this test I have been in contact with a couple of professional choreographers of urban dance styles, Nanu from Argentina and Camila from Brazil. Here's some details about my setup. Mirrorless camera Sony A7S III, 700 grams. Attaching my prime pancake lens from Samian, 18mm, 24mm, 35mm and 50mm from Sony. I was trying all the features mode of the gimbal. 1. Lock mode, where I can have a full steady long perspective shot of traveling. I was using the 50mm lens to get a standard zoom shoot from Nanu. I also used this mode with my friend Gabriel following on his one wheel skateboard. And as you can see, I was running. It's not perfectly steady, but it did a great job. 2. Pan follow mode. The most popular where I can have the motive always in frame, keeping the horizon in place. I used this mode to locate the viewer in some traditional point of view. In the case with the dancers, using from 80mm to 35mm focal lens to frame the full and the half bodies. 3. POB. So far, my favorite one, where I follow the motion to create a dynamic point of view. I was using this mode to follow the flow of the freestyle with the dancers. 4. Follow mode. For a smoother point of view and transitious movement. 5. Go. That is kind of mixed between follow and POB mode. To capture faster motion, I was using this mode to follow quick transitions from one dancer to another. 6. And last but not least, the trending vortex mode. I was trying the same modes in my phone configuration where all of them works perfectly with the phone weight. The key features of this version is so small, extremely lightweight, with an amazing payload capacity intuitive menu panel and a nice LCD screen where I can easily get access to the modes and get settings. I also was surprised about the option to check my model balance and be sure that was correctly. Of course, I am always confident with the auto-tune calibration. Super easy to attach a camera with the fast release plate, nice and smooth touch on every single button and joystick. The small LED light with control from 0 to 100 is 800 lumens and the great option to change the color temperature from 2600 kelvins to 5400 kelvins. The M3 Pro has three lock switch that can be used to avoid the gimbal shaking everywhere when it's been transporting. The size and design is very comfortable in the hands. 
I can highly recommend this product for everyday content creators with reduced gear setups, travelers and amateur videographers that wants to increase the quality of their video getting a steady shot and searching for more professional look. For a bigger professional job, I cannot recommend it since I see quite hard to fill up the expectations using bigger lens and other camera device, plus the possibility of extending the shooting time without removable batteries. You don't want to be in a shooting and take two hours break to recharge the gimbal to continue recording. The gimbal has a battery that cannot be removed, but you could easily make two different shootings with a full single charge that took around two hours. If you want to get a gimbal, but you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars, consider renting or subscribing to Wedio. Let's say if you are taking a short trip and you don't want to spend 750 US dollars for a product that you might not use quite often because you are not a full-time traveler, you can rent for a short period of time and enjoy all the features.